I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a hit Tabata. High intensity, but low impact, so we will protect your joints. We're going to use dumbbells, and that's going to help us get our heart rate up into that fat burning zone without any jumping. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. between exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, back and forth. We'll do each exercise in the set three times, alternating, then we rest and we move on to our next set. Thumbs up in. It's very similar to what our first move is here. Warming up the motion, and arms up and down, heels to the front. We're going to start with one dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use a can of soup, a couple of water bottles, anything to put in your hands, a little bit of resistance. We're going to do a low jack, so we tap and push, tap and push, and move fast here, okay? Deep breath, we're going to be on the clock. Here we go, tap it up, tap. Hold on to your weight, don't throw it across your room. Lightweight, it's just giving us a little bit of resistance and help you bring your heart rate up. Good. Okay, next exercise skaters. I'm gonna step to your right, big arms. Swing the arms with the weight. Get ready. To your right. Here we go. Swing the arms. Tapping back. Now, this is a slower movement exercise. In those little jacks, but large movements, big movements here. Just different ways to get that heart rate up. And rest. Okay, good. Back to the first exercise. So, second time through here. Catch your breath. Here we go. Let's move. Feel it. Feel the breathing intensify. And rest. Good. And now we go to the skaters. Second time on the skaters. We'll keep stepping to your right, okay? Get ready. Here we go. Step it out. Big arms, big steps. Get low if you can here. If it bothers your knees, you just stay up here. You don't want to hurt your knees for the benefit of the exercise. I want you to be able to come back and exercise tomorrow and the next day. <laughs> and rest. Okay, one more time through both exercises, starting with your low jack. In three, two, one. Here we go. Tap it up. Right here. 
10 seconds we go. I want you to come up on that one foot if you can. If the balance becomes an issue, you can always just keep the foot down. I'll we'll demonstrate how we can do that. Get ready, here we go. Let's over, curl and press. So we are moving here. This is a compound move. You can do this with heavy dumbbells. We want to do it with a lighter dumbbell, faster movements. This is a cardio workout. You want to bring your foot right there without bringing it up. If balance is an issue, you're still having some balance with that arm overhead. Try to start to bring that knee up if you can. Step out now to your right. Here we go. Bring it in and up. Be more advanced, you can come right into that knee right here, or tap it down and knee, or right here. Find what works for you. The main goal is movement. That's what we want. <sighs> 10 second rest. Kind of a transition, really. Get ready, here we go, other side. I'm gonna go through each one, each one of these three times. Knee up without a tap if you can, right there. So increasing the intensity. Different ways to do it, putting your hand over your head like this. Heart has to pump up, blood up there. It's another way to increase intensity without jumping. Good job, feel it? I feel it. I'm sure you're feeling it too. Get ready, here we go. And then up. Andres, nice job. All right, one more time through each of those. Deep breath. And here we go, here we go. And then up. Excellent. Okay, one more time over here. Deep, deep breath. Step it out. Here we go. In and up. Come on, rest is coming. Second round is almost done. One fourth of the way through this workout. Just like that. I'm gonna finish this one. There we go, nice job. Okay, let me set you up for our next round. Going to a wide squat stance here. You're gonna squat deep or activate, okay? Take, take it out of the knees. As we come up, we row. As we go back down, weight goes down. We're gonna couple that with a bicep curl, toe taps to the back. Starting with the wide squat, feet are at an angle, front corners of your room. As we come up, pull that weight. Here we go. Now I'm leading with my elbows here. Elbows come up. It's not this, okay? Check what you're doing. Pull up, top of that shoulder. That was tight. Move. When we do these upper and lower body movements at the same time, bring up that heart rate. Very good. Okay, bicep curl, elbows in at the waist. Tapping your right foot back first, okay? Deep breath, here we go, tap it out. Tap and curl. Keep those elbows in. Fly away from your waist. Potential to knock yourself in the face. I don't want you to do that. Plus, isolating the bicep by holding that upper arm very still. Good. Excellent, okay. After a wide squat, remember, lead with those elbows. Don't turn the wrists. Here we go. Take it down. Squat and pull. Activate, pull. Activate, pull. Go as low as you can while protecting your joints. If your knees hurt, you need to stay up top. Rest. Whew, how do you feel? Hope you feel good. Getting that heart rate up feels good to me. 
Tap the toe back, get ready. Here we go. Be hard to start these workouts, right? Once you get in them, actually feel pretty good. And rest. One more time. Toes are out, shoulders back, get the chest up here. Here we go, take it down. Down and pull. Pull it up. Here. So the nice thing about this, even though we're using lighter weights, we're getting a toning workout, toning these muscles, lighter weight, higher rep. It's good to mix up what you do in your strength training. This is a great balance. You get your cardio, keep the muscles active while you do your workout. And rest. Good job. Okay, 30 second rest. Let's get ready for this next one. Let's get a balance element. Get some options for you. We're gonna take your right leg back. Curtsy lunge as deep as comfortable for you. Come up, kick. Or take it down, come up, kick through, foot down. Or take it down, up and kick. Bring the foot back. You pick what works for you. This is a balance challenge. Here we go. Right leg back. Take it back. Kick however feels good for you. You may be off pace with me a little bit, depending on your fitness level. If you're just starting out, welcome, good for you. We all started at the beginning. We're going this way. And see, I'm having some balance things here where I'm putting my foot down. That's good. Those are our stabilizers, jumping in, trying to keep us on our feet. But if you start to wobble, put the foot down. Other side, here we go. First couple are a little harder. So your brain kind of adjusts to the move. Maybe you have to put your foot down the first two or three times and then try a kick through. And rest. Okay. On to your other side. Back and forth. Three rounds within this set. Get ready. We're on the clock. Here we go. Take it back. Take it through. And back. Here we go. Took that first one. Not forget to remember what to do over on this side. Get low on this curtsy if you can. Get low. If not, you're tapping back and kicking. It still works. And rest. Good. Catch your breath. Feel the heart rate? Yeah, that looks good. Step back. Here we go. So if you want to know how to figure out your cardio range, Take the number 220, whoops, here we go, 220 minus your age. Now that number that you get is special to you based on your age. Multiply it by 0.65 and 0.85. You get the low and high end of your cardio range, cardio heart rate to there. So you can take your pulse and see where you're at. Deep breath in and out. Other side. Here we go. And kick. Last time through these two, come on. While you've got, you know you're feeling it. The legs, so big muscles. We're using a lot of the lower body here. All those muscles want oxygen. So up goes the heart rate. Deep breath. You know I keep saying that because I'm taking deep breaths all the time. Here we go. Curtsy back. And get. <clears throat> Rest is coming, come on. 20 seconds here, you can do it. All you got. Put down, put it down, and hop right back in. Almost there. Finishing this one. There it is. Nice. Okay. Grab some water, but I want you to see what we're doing next. You're going to take your right arm pushing forward. Your left arm pushes out. At the same time, stepping out on your right leg. 
Looks like this. Forward lunge. Come in. Chair squat or skier squat. Lift back and up. So let's push in and back. Get ready. Rest is over. Here we go. Shoulders up. Chest is up. Don't lean over that front knee. If you want to step, take the lunge out and the bend out. You can do that. Find what fits your body and where you're at. You're moving. I'm smiling. Rest. Okay, so now this is kind of tricky because we're going to change that forward arm and leg. So we're going to go with your left and right leg, just like that. Ready? Here we go. Forward, come in, take it back. So I'm going to hit my little divider there. I'm going to move away just a bit. And up. So again, upper and lower body. Working. Shoulders. Triceps. And rest. Changing the forward leg. Back to the right arm forward, which probably, if you're right-handed, feels easier. Here we go. Coordination-wise, it's completely normal. I happen to be left-handed, which works out great filming these videos, because I get to go left-hand first. Because I'm mirroring you. And I failed on that one. Did you see that? Whew. All right. Here we go. Step it up. Rest. In. Take it back. I'm not going to bail on this one. I'm going to finish it. Make up for what I did last round. All right, one more time. Catch your breath. Back to right hand forward first. Ready? Here we go. Take it back. Feel those triceps at this point. I hope you're feeling them, even with light weight. Small muscle group. This is heavier for them than some of the other muscles in the body. Also, pushing this weight out. Gravity makes that move. Right there. Feel heavy. This gravity is pulling on your arm and the weight. Here we go, other side. Take it out. This is it for this move. Keep going. This move's crazy, Rhoda. Don't worry, we're almost done. One more. Finish with me. Come on. Right here. Finish. Good job. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to do some back work. We're going to step. Step, squeeze the shoulder blade, step back, step, squeeze. Front of the body, keeping the weight low, right there. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Then we'll go down in a deadlift, and we'll pump the weight like this. So, start with that step out. Let's take one step, when you're there, do your fly. Here we go. So step, fly, step back, other side, step. Now add a little pace to this if you can. Let's move. Squeeze the shoulder blades right there. Little glute work right there. Right. And rest. Good. So flat back, weight in your heels, a little bend in the knees, one weight up, one down. We're going to switch. Both weights move. Here we go. Switch back. Pump, pump. Abs are tight. Breathe. Think weight in your heels. And rest. All right, back to our, our fly. We're not coming way down in this position. We're staying at this position, squeezing the back. Step it out. Here we go. Step, squeeze. Step, squeeze. Moving a little bit forward. We've been working on squeezing those shoulder blades together. And rest. So 
onto that deadlift. Now, put down there for 20 seconds is too much. If you feel any kind of stress in the lower back, I want you to stand up and then come back down. Give it a little rest. Here we go. Remember, weight in your heels, little bend in your knees, and a flat back is going to help you stay strong here. And rest. Good. One more time through. Get your breath. Wait, ready? Here we go. Step it out. Squeeze. Let your body work. And rest. All right, one more time for those back rows. Put some pace, right? We're moving with these. Take it down, set your position, weight your heels, bend in the knees, flat back, and now pull, pull, pull. This next round, we are going to the mat. If you need to stay standing, I'm going to show you what you're going to do for the next two rounds. You're going to use your wall, do a wall push up, and then we do bicycles. Your move is right here, okay? And you're going to do that for the last two sets. If you're ready to do push ups from the floor, bring it down. Hands are right under your shoulders. I am going to be on my knees. Abs are tight. And you're going to go down to the mat. Take it way down. Down. And push. And I have had shoulder surgery and I'm not on my toes because that would be just too much on the shoulder. So you decide what works for you. If you're on your toes, great. If you're on your knees, just great too. If you're on the wall, fantastic. You're doing it. Flip it over. If you're on the wall, you do those standing alternating crunches. Otherwise, come with me with the bicycle. Knees up. Here we go. Twist. That's cardio, so let's move, okay? Eyes on your ceiling, chin off your chest. It's gonna keep your neck neutral. Awesome. Bring it around. It's gonna feel like a fish out of water here, flopping around. Back to our push up. Arms right under your shoulder. Lean into it if you can. If you're just starting out, you can bring those knees in. Right there, okay? You just started to take your push ups to the floor. It's a good starting spot. And then flip on over for your bicycle. Your arm's shaking because mine are shaking. Those muscles are working. Knees up, eyes up, go. the longest 20 seconds of the workout. That was tough. All right, one more time. One more time through these. Push up. Here we go. Down and up. Abs are tight here. Work them. Got a lot of muscles in the upper body doing work here. Heart rate stays up. Breeze. The chest, shoulder, biceps, triceps, abs. And rest good. So now around. Try and pull your bicycle. Knees up, eyes up, twist. Think about elbow, back, shoulder, forward. So we think about bringing that shoulder to the knee. It's going to give you a little more rotation in the upper body. One round left, and we have mountain climbers. So, 
If you want to stick with your push-ups, you can. Or I'm going to get up for just a minute. You stay on the mat if you're down the mat. If you'd rather change your first exercise, here's a standing mountain climber right there. And then still do the twist for your second exercise. So, hands under the shoulders. Coming up in a plank. Alternating knees forward. Walk it right here. You want to run it. A little bit of high impact there. Just keep it low impact. One foot on the floor at all times. And this is hard. I mean, we just did push-ups, right? We did a minute of push-ups. And we'll flip it on over. Second ab here. We'll do the full crunch. Knees in. Kick the legs out. Here we go. Crunch it and kick. When you're just starting out, you crunch from the tabletop with the knees. Right there. If you're advanced, your feet can go out low. If you're kind of in the middle, right here, or like me, if you have back issues, you don't want those feet coming too low to the ground and pulling the back off the mat. Let's flip over. Back to those mountain climbers. Get ready, here we go. You can do these on your knees right here. Your shoulders really are done. All right. Now you do that and stop. Well, let's move here. 30 minutes. Excellent. Okay, flip it back over. Back to those crunches. Shoulder to knee. Tabletop or shoulder to knee. Kick it out. Here we go. Hold your abs tight here. Push your back to the mat and keep those elbows back. Shoulders are coming up. So we're not doing this. That's going to crunch your neck too much. Keep that eye on the sky there. Chin off the chest. One more round. Stay with me right over here. Got to finish. We're almost done. Ready for those mat climbers. Here we go. And the last round of your full body crunch. Are you breathing hard? I'm breathing hard. I'm glistening. It's all sweating in my neighborhood. Feels good though. Get to the end. Feels great. Nice job. Keep your legs out. Reach your hands high over your head. Deep breath. Exhale. Be proud of doing that workout. Excellent job. All right, let's stretch. Let me catch my breath there a little bit. Bring my knee in. Let's kick it up. Feel the back of the leg stretch. Good. Bring that knee in. Lay this leg down. Bring this knee across. Reach away, stretch out those push ups, those mountain climbers. You feel that stretch across the bicep, shoulder, and chest. Good. Oh, yeah, I'm still breathing out. Come on your other side, knee in, and kick it up. Stretch it out. And that knee is in, bring the leg bar down, and bring it across. And we'll reach away. Good. Come on back. Arms over your head. Kick out the legs. Flex your feet. Stretching the lower part of the leg here. And we're going to roll on over. Come up on hands and knees. Round your back up. Stretching across the upper back too, shoulder to shoulder. And then flatten and round it up again. 
and flatten. Come around, have a seat. You have more time to stretch. I'm gonna get my stretch playlist, a number of stretches to choose from, and you can continue to stretch. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening, and join me next time.